So it's probably the best time to show you guys. So coincidence, the crank position sensor I think is bad. So I just pulled out the spark plug wire off our number one cylinder and just threw a spare spark plug in here. And I put it up here on the top hat bolt so that I could see what kind of spark we got. And right now if I crank it, I have no spark, which is indicative that our crank position sensor decided to go out. So let's see. So if we go over here and we look right here, it fired for a sec. I saw a spark and it ran off the other seven and then it died, watch. No spark at all. So we got no spark. And if it does fire, you'll see spark. Nothing, Nothing at all, but it'll kick sometimes. Yeah, zero spark. All right, guys, so let's see what's going on with the Dakota. So it will run for like half an hour. And once it gets up to temperature, it just shuts off. So I think it's coincidence, but I think the crank position sensor has gone out of it. Let's see if she starts right now. Once it gets hot, it seems to die. So let's see. Oh, she wants to run right now, I guess. But let me do some testing because I think the crank position sensor is toast on this thing. Okay, so I just checked it with my little simple code reader and there's no codes on this thing. I can't get to sit there and throw a code, but it's it's probably not a problem with the circuit. It's probably just when the pickup, you know, when the sensor gets hot, it doesn't work because if it was a calibration issue, if it was the, uh, the pickup sensor that's in the distributor, that one would... You know, if it was offset or wasn't set or dialed in correctly, it just wouldn't start or it would just run like a bag right off the get-go. But I'm having an issue where it seems to run decent and then just out of nowhere, it just cuts out and dies. So you guys know that these crank position sensors are pretty problematic on these trucks. So I happen to have a spare one from the other engine. I'm just going to put it in because uh, like right now it works perfectly, but then if I leave it and let the truck get super hot, then it starts acting up. So not super hot by any means, but just up to temperature, that's when this thing acts up. So rather than let the truck get hot and up to temperature and do that whole thing again, I'm just going to swap it out so I'm not burning my hands trying to change it. So we'll go ahead, swap that, and then I'm going to let it get up to temperature and see if it does or doesn't do it. It's only two bolts, so it's not the end of the world. Let's swap it. So once you crack the 13 mil bolt loose, there's going to be two of them, obviously. We're going to spin it take it out so there's one bolt and then you'll have to work blind unless you can get in here some other way but there we go we're on the second one all right guys so i just swapped the crank position sensor so everything's tight plugged in let's just verify that we're back in business Alright guys, so she still does not want to start, look. And let's turn out this dingin. I just checked because this is apparently another common one. Is this auto shutdown relay. Which is right here. I just swapped it with the one from the AC clutch, but didn't seem to make any difference. Okay, so the only thing left is maybe our pickup inside the distributor needs to be replaced. That's the other one that usually goes bad, so let's try that. So here's the sensor that is in your distributor. Mine, I don't know what the age is on it, but it doesn't look very new. But we'll go ahead and we'll pull it and swap it. So we'll throw this one on the truck and see if she starts. Remove the two screws on the distributor cap and then we can get at that cam pickup sensor. Okay, we got that new cam pickup. Let's see if it does anything different. Nothing. 
All right, guys, I hate to keep swapping parts, but I think maybe something to do with the coil pack because I took off the two wires that lead to the coil pack. We have no spark, and I get voltage going to the coil pack when I try cranking it. So it's trying to send it spark, so that means that all the other sensors should be sending this thing spark, but for some reason we're not getting spark. So we're coming down to the last little bit here. So this coil pack may have died on us and maybe that's the culprit so i don't see any other reason why i mean the wire is going to the right spot might just be a dead coil pack so let me show you guys when i crank it we get voltage here all right we got the coil pack that i got new previously so <laughs> let's try this one you guys Aha, you guys, I found the culprit. I guess when this got reinstalled, the pin got bent, and since it's upside down, you would never see it. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm glad I finally found the problem. But since it's out, I'm going to put in that new coil pack that I had. So, uh, this one I bought pretty recently, so I'll throw that one on. But I'm glad I found what the culprit was. So, I guess once it starts banging around and bumping around, that pin wasn't making contact, and that was the issue. All right, guys, so it starts and runs now, but that coil is making it run like an absolute bag and just misfire, which is weird. So I might try putting that other coil back in there, the stock one, or I have one more, because listen to it. It's just missing like crazy, but at least it runs. So let's go ahead and put that stock one back in and fix that pin. And if that stock one is dead for some reason, then I'm going to put in a spare one I have. But that one, holy crap, does it ever run like garbage. All right, so I took out that coil pack, and I put in the stock one. There you go, guys. No games. Let's see if she runs any better or runs now that that pin's fixed. Because I don't know, that other coil pack or something is running funny. Let's see. Same thing. It's running weird. All right, you guys, so after a bunch of messing around, I just wanna say one thing that um, I don't like to just swap parts, but sometimes since I had some of these extra things here, it was for me just easier to try swapping um, the sensor or whatnot. But I think I'm gonna mess with it again today. It's actually a couple days later cause I got so fed up with trying to fix that thing. I think what might've happened is, I talked about this in a live the other day, uh, when I had the original, not the original, but when I bought the truck and had that engine in there, it was always kind of missing. So the crank position sensors that I have, the used one that was on the truck originally, and the used one that I pulled off of that spare motor, I don't know the history on either one of them, but maybe the one that was on the engine just currently, that one might have been in better shape than the one that we pulled off because as soon as I swapped it, it did start or seem to start but it was miss, missing like crazy. I also, at the same time, I'm just about to show you guys, I have been trying to check and verify our uh, cam position sensor. So the one that's in the distributor, the cam pickup there. So I've been looking at that one as well. And I have the snap-on scanner, so I have been looking to make sure that it's degreed properly. So I've been using the scanner. I went and bought one of these scanners and I think what I might end up doing for you guys too, once I get all of my nonsense sorted out, I know a lot of guys want this, I might do some sort of uh, rental exchange thing for you guys. So maybe once I figure my stuff out, if you guys need this scanner to set your fuel sink, what I'll do is maybe you guys leave a deposit and we'll charge a rental fee and I'll ship it to you guys. You guys use it and ship it back to me. That's once I figure my stuff out, because I know a lot of guys need these things to get their truck dialed in, and I might do something like that for you guys. So I have bought it, I've got all the right keys and everything, and I've hooked that up. The only thing I think of right now is, I think that the, well, you guys saw how that pins that went into the coil, how that was a little bit bent. I think that might've been the major issue, and then I went on a goose chase of swapping some other sensors, so. Might try putting in that other crank position sensor that was in there 
and then maybe realigning and readjusting my cam pickup and see if this thing will run properly. But that's gonna be for our next video. I'm gonna tackle it again today, see if I can get to the bottom of it, and hopefully we can get this thing running back again. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was uh, a bit exhausting for me, and uh, I don't know. I hope I don't get fed up with this truck, but I'll keep plugging away at it and we'll get it dialed in. But make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Also turn on that bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified of all the latest videos. And you guys can follow along with my headache and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.